This is Tustin Mayor Dr. Alan Bernstein with your weekly update on the COVID-19 pandemic and its effect on our community. It's been about a month since the governor issued his stay-at-home orders in the state of California. We have had our lives, our daily routines altered in an attempt to avoid a catastrophe. We are coping and have for the most part settled into a routine. These mandates and recommendations which have altered our lives have been put in place to save lives. The measures taken so far appear to have been successful. Thank you, Tustin, for abiding by those mandates and being responsible and doing your part. On April 21st, the Orange County Board of Supervisors approved the directive in line with face coverings guidance issued by the California Department of Public Health on April 1st, which is intended to help slow the spread of COVID-19. The new county regulation requires all employees of any grocery store, pharmacy, drugstore, convenience store, gas station, restaurant, food preparation establishment, or retail store in Orange County who may have contact with the public to wear a cloth face covering while at work. The county order goes into effect midnight on Friday, April 24th. Remember, Tustin, face coverings are not a substitute for proven protective measures like frequent hand washing, social distancing, and staying at home. The best way to protect yourself is to practice all of these together. I'm pleased to share that the Tustin Parks and Recreation Department has teamed up with Tustin Community Foundation and created the Kindness Cards for Tustin Seniors program. Starting this week, residents are invited to write a card or note with encouraging words for Tustin seniors who may be experiencing loneliness due to the COVID-19 pandemic and associated stay-at-home orders. Cards or notes would be handwritten with a positive and kind message and should be placed in an unsealed envelope. Children's drawings are also encouraged. The kindness cards and notes can be dropped off at the box out in front of the Tustin Area Senior Center located at 200 C Street. Parks and Recreation Department staff will distribute these cards to seniors receiving food courtesy of Meals on Wheels and Second Harvest Food Bank distributed by the Tustin Area Senior Center starting on Thursday, April 23rd. Tustin has always been a giving and thoughtful community, and I'm confident that we will rise to the occasion with a tremendous amount of support for this program. I want to thank all of you in advance for willing to take part and provide efforts in sharing some kindness with our seniors. As we all know, this is a very unusual time, but I want to remind everyone that our library is still available to offer a wealth of information and free available resources. Although the Tustin Library doors are temporarily closed, OC Public Libraries continue to provide free access to books and online resources. If you have a library card, you can access ebooks, e audio books, movies, online classes, and more. Those without a library card can apply for an e card and have access starting right away. The Tustin Public Library is also offering virtual story time and online craft videos, and their new e-learning site has resources for children and families as they navigate learning from home. Visit ocpl.org for more information on all of these great programs. Once again, I'd like to remind everyone to shop and dine in Tustin and visit our Chamber website for more information on which Tustin businesses are open. We will get through this but is going to require some time. We at City Hall are reviewing all options in an attempt to prudently increase public activity in Tustin. Stay tuned for more information. In the meantime, let's continue to stay on the course and remember that our top priority is the health and well-being of our community. We are Tustin strong and we will get through this together. Be well and God bless.